This is it. This is where it happened. The largest ambush in military history. So what happened? The Roman soldiers were camping down here on the lake and Hannibal's army was up here in the hills. You know, a mixture of Celts, Siberians, you know, peoples from all around Europe. They charged down, wiping out half of the the Roman forces, about 15,000 men of the 30,000. They reckon that there was so much blood that this little stream down here flowed blood red for three days. How do you know all that stuff? I'm a fan of military history. Look, I don't want to discourage you of what you're trying to do with your novel. But, you know, I don't want to play the starving artist. So maybe with your whole idea of La Dolce Vita, maybe you want to look at measures of success. Because, I mean, I had, you know, I appreciate that you like my novel, I appreciate that people liked it, but I really made no money from it. So, you know, it's not an easy road. Scott, whatever you say, I will write this novel anyway. I will take into account your comments about success and the Dolce Vita, but I will ignore your negativity about writing. Our itinerary was secret until now, but I'm pretty sure you will like the next location. It is one of the best wineries in Italy. It's in Montalcino. So come on, Mr. Grumpy Pants, come and let's get drunk. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, Gio, there is actually something you can do. I have a question. I'm writing a novel and I would like to know what your idea about the Dolce Vita is. Well, Charlotte, you asked me to say what Dolce Vita represents for me. Re Dolce Vita is what I'm living now and in the most amazing landscape, drinking a fantastic wine from Castello di Velona in front of a beautiful woman like you. And as I say to everyone, the 5F represent the essence of Dolce Vita. Friends, family, food and Fiorentina football team. It's very gentle, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually one of the least aggressive wine that you could ever try. It's very gentle on your palate, in your mouth. When you swallow, you wouldn't feel the aggressive tannin, okay? There are many Brunellos, they are very aggressive, and when you swallow, they make you feel like, ooh, this one it only gives you the breath of pleasantness. felt like you're experiencing something but you're not really there you're like a spectator in your own life you mean like not being in the moment I suppose I was thinking today I mean the one thing I really enjoy is riding a motorbike and, and pushing it really hard like and knowing that if you make a mistake it's either death or injury and that is when I feel really alive and I thought how is there something wrong with me that I have to do that to feel alive. I know, I can relate to that. I mean, you are so focused on what you are doing that you don't think about anything else. And for me, it's a little bit the same when I dance tango. I didn't know you did tango. I didn't know you ride your bike. I'm also concentrated, but I'm not thinking. It's more feeling. It's a dialogue between both dancers. You know, I thought about uh, your novel today. I don't think that you're an unsuccessful writer. I don't think that success is measured by money. I mean, every day so many people contact you. You influence people, you influence me. Yeah, well, it's interesting watching 
you doing your research. I mean, Gio today, he was fantastic. What was it? The five, the five Fs. Family, friends, what was it? Food, football. That cheeky bugger, he only mentioned four Fs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what the fifth F was, the way he was talking to you. 